The mission of the Fisheries and Aquatic Ecosystems Branch is to carry out research and development, monitoring and technology transfer in support of the sustainable management of fisheries and aquatic resources in Northern Ireland. The branch delivers evidence-based science in marine and freshwater environments for a wide range of customers. The RV Choristes is a state-of-the-art research vessel which operates out of the port of Belfast, providing year-round scientific capability in marine science for the Irish Sea, Northern Ireland's coastal waters and the near shelf area. Research on fish and shellfish stocks is a vital part of understanding changes in fish populations in the Irish Sea and surrounding regions. The research is used to support policy aimed at conserving fish stocks. As part of a twice-yearly ground fish survey, scientists catch a selection of fish from the Irish Sea and separate them into species, for example, cod, whiting, mackerel and non-commercial species. The scientists then record numbers and biological data from the fish as part of an international survey. Sample fish landings are also processed at the laboratories at Newforge Lane, Belfast. In this lab we age fish, we look at their air stones or we call them otoliths. Uh, fish like you and me have a hearing system that has a semicircular or a series of three semicircular canals and each one has a little sack with a calcified structure at the bottom of it. It's something that we can look at to read the ages just the same way as people read tree rings on tree branches or old timbers. Another area of research is the assessment of stocks of nephrops or Dublin Bay prawns. Working in collaboration with colleagues from the Marine Institute in Galway, AFP scientists pioneered the use of underwater television in the Irish Sea to count the number of prone burrows on the seabed. This is the uh, high speed plankton sampler that we use to survey for young life history stages of fish such as uh, fish eggs and the uh, tiny fish larvae. It's deployed off the, the back of the ship here and is flown in a, a V shape. So we capture the, the whole of the water column from the seabed up to the um, sea surface. It has a range of different environmental uh, sensors on board so we can get a, a glimpse of the, the water column structure. Young fish surveys are an important indicator of variation in the annual production of fish stocks. By targeting fish at earlier life history stages, these surveys provide important information on the current status of Irish Sea fish stocks, before changes become apparent in commercial fish catches. The success of measures to conserve fish stocks is vitally dependent upon close cooperation between the fishing industry, scientists and administrators. AFPI scientists measure and examine landed catches, as well as carrying out monitoring on board fishing vessels at sea. The biological, oceanography and marine environmental monitoring theme has been designed to provide the scientific understanding and data to underpin the development of an ecosystem approach to the management of the Irish Sea. One way of monitoring the features of the water is through a series of moorings which collect data. This is part of a large network of instruments that are throughout the sea locks of Northern Ireland. Their primary purpose is to monitor continuously water quality and use mobile phone technology to send all the information back to base where we can, in real time, monitor the water quality. This is a multi-channel nutrient analyzer that we use to analyze seawater samples. The results of the analysis are used to link levels of nutrients to productivity in the RSC and also to monitor any changes that are happening in the environment. 
Scientists also monitor coastal waters for the presence of toxins. 37 sites in Northern Ireland are analysed throughout the year. We screen water samples that are taken from the shellfish uh, beds around Northern Ireland for the presence of toxin producing phytoplankton. Uh, this work is to comply with EU health hygiene regulations and AFBI undertake this work on behalf of Food Standards Agency. If the permitted levels are exceeded, local councils who have responsibility for environmental health are advised to close the affected shellfish production areas until the danger has passed. AFBI research in the coastal zone includes habitat mapping, the deployment of in situ instrumentation to monitor water quality, and the development of inshore ecosystem models to assess shellfish carrying capacity. The project is called SMILE and that stands for Sustainable Mariculture in Northern Irish Loch Ecosystems. And basically we've been involved with um, producing a model which looks at um, the carrying capacity within our five sea locks, so right down, right from Loch Foyle, right round to Carlingford Loch. All of these locks have had expansion in shellfish growth within the last 15, 20 years. We have to realise not to make the same mistakes as other countries have made. We're overstocked areas, basically prolonged the length of time it takes to produce a commercial sized mussel or oyster. Another major asset to the Fisheries and Aquatic Ecosystems branch is the River Bush Salmon Station. Salmon have been studied at this facility since 1973 in a long-term programme which utilises trapping facilities to count and examine both the juvenile salmon migrating to sea and the adults returning to fresh water to spawn. This work has allowed AFBI scientists to answer some of the fundamental questions relating to salmon management, including how many salmon need to spawn in our rivers to provide long-term sustainability of stocks and fisheries, and what is the relationship between salmon production and river habitat quantity and quality. The study has revealed the dependency of salmon production on processes at catchment level, with both river habitat quality and water quality being closely linked to land use. Monitoring stocks of freshwater fish is another vital aspect to the work of the branch. As well as the work carried out at the River Bush Salmon Station, extensive research is carried out at other freshwater fisheries, including Loch Ney. The zebra mussel is a, a small, tiny freshwater mussel. Uh, not native to this country. It came initially across Europe and caused enormous problems in the United States in the 1990s. And it reached Ireland with imported boats, freshwater boats, in the 1993. Basically, it turned a lake which had been pea soup green um, into a clear lake in about five years flat. And that has major implications for the fish. But when you consider that you can get 10,000 per square metre of a rock surface when they get going, and that each, each one can sieve two litres of water in a matter of days and take all the material out of it. You get some idea of the power of the animal to change the environment. As part of the monitoring programme within Loch Ness, which AFBI carries out, we count and uh, analyse the, the quality of the elver stock that returns to the system every winter. Previously on Loch Ness, there would have been somewhere in the region of 36 million arriving every year. But since 1983, there's been a dramatic decline in elver recruitment, not only to Loch Ness, but also across Europe. If this work wasn't carried out, the future for the eel as a species would be very bleak. The work carried out by the Fisheries and Aquatic Ecosystems Branch has high impact locally, nationally and internationally. Together, our teams work to deliver world-class science in support of the sustainable management of fisheries and aquatic resources in Northern Ireland. AFBI is pure scientific excellence in Northern Ireland.